Hey, what is up guys? My name is Rizal and welcome back to another edition of my Suburban House Tutorial Series. Now today's video is a bit special as I'll be building a house that my brother has made in collaboration with me. The house has an awesome design that features all the suburban essentials including a garage, porch, and large two-story interior. So if you like what you see here, definitely be sure to check out my brother's channel called Greg Builds as he just started making his own build tutorial similar to what you will see here. So with all that being said, let's get right into building it. Now the first thing we will need to do is lay out the dimensions of the house. So let's begin by laying out a 22 long by 8 wide rectangle of quartz pillar blocks. Then at the front row of this quartz we just placed, let's remove the middle 6 blocks here. And now at the 4 corners of this, let's add up more quartz pillar blocks so we have columns that are 8 blocks tall. Next we'll add another section that extends out at the front right side, so add the third block over from this corner, place out 8 quartz pillar blocks towards the front. Then let's add another one of these quartz rows 5 blocks to the left of the first one. So now once we have all these quartz blocks laid down, we can then place in the walls of green concrete on top that are 8 blocks tall so they match the height of the columns we made. Now that we have the concrete on top of the quartz foundation, we'll have one remaining spot to add some walls, so come over to the front right section and we can fill in this gap with green concrete starting from the fourth block up. Then we can place in a garage door in this gap by placing horizontally placed quartz pillar blocks in a block here that also has some stone buttons across the middle of it. Next we'll add in all the flooring inside of these walls. So at this front right corner where we have the garage, we can replace the bottom layer with grey concrete, and then between the rest of the walls we can add in spruce planks at the bottom, and then at the fourth layer up as well for the second floor.
Next up, we'll add the porch extension onto the house. So let's start by going over three blocks from the front left corner and placing out a 6x6 U-shape of quartz pillar blocks. Then on top of this quartz, let's place up three layers of spruce planks. Now inside this area we can replace the grass with spruce planks and then fill in the top layer with spruce as well. And now let's add the railing above the porch by placing black stained glass panes around the top edge. Then at the middle of the porch, let's add in double dark oak doors into the wall here and place black stained glass at the sides of them with quartz slabs above. Next we'll add in the main entrance where we have this center gap, so at each end of these green concrete walls here, place out two stone bricks and build them up to the same height as these walls here. Now behind this stone brick, let's also place back three more stone bricks on the second floor of these spruce planks and build them up to the same height as well. Then we'll build a staircase that fits between these stone brick walls. So we can start by adding an extra row of spruce planks in front of the floor here and then place down two layers of spruce stairs from the end of this. Now also place out two more rows of spruce planks from the end of these stairs. And then also place another two rows of stairs at the end of these planks so it reaches the ground level. And now with the staircase in place, let's then add in stone bricks at the sides of it like I do here. Lastly, we will add in the doorway at the end of this staircase, so from the end of these stone brick walls, place in double dark oak doors at the middle with black stained glass around them. Next, we'll build a roof over top of the house. So starting from the top left side of this stone brick wall, let's wrap a layer of quartz stairs that goes around the entire house and connects up with the other stone brick wall here.
Then once this layer of quartz stairs is in place, we will then add up stone brick stairs for the rest of the roof that follows the same path as the quartz stairs. Now after placing in all these stone brick stairs, we'll have one remaining gap in the roof. So to fill this in, let's start at the left stone brick wall again and place up quartz stairs from here that go up 4 blocks and down 3 blocks at the other end. Then once we have this frame of quartz stairs, let's fill in the back of it with stone brick stairs and connect it up with the rest of the roof like I do here. Now let's go under this section of the roof and place stone bricks up on these walls so we can fill in the gaps of the inside of the house. And then we can place an outdoor light on the ceiling of this by placing in a couple spruce fences and light source blocks with trapdoors around them. Next up we will add in the windows to the house. So let's start by adding a couple 2x2 windows of black stained glass panes at the sides of the porch with trapdoors at the sides and quartz slabs above them.
Then we can add a couple more of these same windows at the front right section that has upside down quartz stairs under them this time. Also at the right side of this section, let's add a couple four wide windows at the top and bottom floors. Then at this other wall along the right side of the house, let's add another 2x2 window with trapdoors and cord stairs along the top floor. And now at the back of the house, we can add three more of these same windows along the top level as well. Then for the last windows, we can add a couple four wide windows under the end windows we just placed. Now with the windows in place, we'll next place in a back door here. So at the middle of the wall, it's placed in a double dark oak door with black stained glass at the sides and quartz slabs above with a couple fences at the ends of it. And if you would like, we can also add a concrete and brick area that is as big as you want to serve as a back patio. Next up, we'll add a chimney over at the left side of the house. So we can start by adding a six long and three tall section of bricks along the wall here. Then on top of this, let's add a couple more layers of four bricks and two bricks with stairs at the sides of them. And now we can place five more layers of brick on top that is two blocks wide and we'll go through the quartz stair roof. Then lastly at the top we can place in a couple cobblestone walls. Next up we'll add the driveway and walkway at the front of the house. So let's start at the sides of the garage door and place out 6 stone bricks at each side or as long as you would need the driveway to be. And now in between these stone bricks let's replace the grass with grey concrete.
Then we'll add in the walkway in front of the staircase. So at the right side of this, place out six stone bricks. And then extend it over to the left until the end of the porch wall or make it as long as you would need it to be. Also, at the left side of the staircase, let's place out three stone bricks and then extend it over to the same length as before. And now we can replace the grass in between these bricks with grey concrete. Lastly, we will add in the bushes to finish up the house. So starting at the sides of the porch, we can place out two layers of leaves with one at the corner. And then at the right side of this driveway, we can place in leaves that extend back to the end of this wall. Now as for what you want in the interior, I'll leave that entirely up to you guys, but as always, I'll quickly show you how I decorated mine as an example. But that is going to be all for the Suburban House tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my brother's channel and show him some support. And I'll leave his links at the end of the video and the description box. So with all that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Later guys, bye bye.